Okay, what's up, everybody? So this section in the ebook is price and currency pairs. All right, so thank you for getting the ebook. Thank you for you know following on Instagram and actually gaining some value from this. Right. So welcome to the Forex Foundations. In this section, I'm going to be covering price and the currency pairs, like I mentioned. So first of all, price. As you saw in the ebook, price is this number over here on the right hand side of the screen right so currently the market is closed it's the weekend um so the price right now of look up here top left hand corner gbp usd right so this like i mentioned in the example in the ebook is how many us dollars are in every great british pound so this means at current price there's 1.23148 us dollars in every great British pound, okay? So when you're looking at this and you would have this value, okay? 1.23148, okay? Let's make this a little bit bigger. So the four, oops, the four is the ones place. Okay, so this four is the ones place. Okay, so when this goes from 14 to 15, it moves up what's called one pip. And a pip is price in percentage. Okay, so if you want to know, people say, oh, I caught 30 pips. Oh, I caught 10 pips. Oh, I caught 100 pips. A pip is just price in percentage or percentage in price, right? So when this goes from 2314 to 2315, that moved up one pip, right? So then when you have this eight right here, that is what's called a pipette. So that is the tenths place, right? So this is 4.8, right? So it's technically 1.2314 and then the eight would be like the decimal point, okay? So if you had a little example doing your head right here, right? If we had price at 1.2400, and then it moved up to 1.20 or 2420, what would that be? 20 pips, right? If it moved up to 1.2440, what would that be? Another 20 pips, right? So this is how the Great British Pound is calculated. And um, this is just one of the many different currency pairs that we have, right? So I'm gonna go into how to calculate like the money that you would make and this and that in another video. But right now, understanding the price itself, always the last number is going to be the tenths place, right? So we can go into a couple of different currency pairs here to show you guys some various examples. All right. So let me get rid of this. Let me click this here. Boom. So as far as all of the different Forex pairs are concerned, right, look at this. So you have the euro to the U.S. dollar right? US dollar to the Japanese yen, the British pound to the US dollar, the British pound to the Japanese yen, right? The Australian dollar to the US <clears throat> dollar. Okay. And many, many more, right? You have the Australian dollar to the Japanese yen, the New Zealand dollar to the US dollar, the US dollar to the Swiss franc, the US dollar to the <clears throat> Canadian dollar, the Euro to the Japanese yen, the great British pound to the Australian dollar, the Euro to the Australian dollar, the Canadian pound to the Japanese yen, the Euro to the Canadian dollar, the New Zealand dollar to the US dollar, right? So there's a bunch of different options here that you have to trade. Now, I'm gonna go over you know, trading sessions and whatnot in a different video, but these different pairs are going to move more at different times during the day, right? So when picking a pair that you would want to trade, the major type of pairs are have to do with the US dollar. So any of the pairs here that have the US dollar involved are going to be what's called considered a major pair, a major pair, because the US dollar is the most traded currency of them all right? It's got the most volume, the most money behind it, and the most movement. And so any pair that you have that involves the USD or the US dollar is going to be compared, is going to be considered a major pair, okay? A major currency pair. So 
when looking at this, right? So notice if you look at the right side of the screen here, our example was 1.23148, right? So notice how there's one point and then there's like five numbers out to the side with the eight, with the eight being the tenths place, right? So if I were to go over here to GBP, JPY, notice how it looks a little bit different, right? One, 165.534. What's up with that? That looks different, right? So this means that, once again, the pair on the right, which is the base currency pair, that's how many of those dollars or yen, right? In this example, the Japanese yen. So that means that there's 165.534 Japanese yen within every great British pound, Right. So that's a little bit different than what we had with the GBP USD, right? The Great British Pound to the US dollar, right? There was only one, 1.25 US dollars in every Great British Pound. And the Japanese yen, there's 165 of those in every Great British Pound, right? So these are not all the same. They're not all going to be like a one to one or something very close. With the Japanese yen, like I mentioned, that last number after the decimal point is going to be your tenths place, okay? When talking about how the pips are actually calculated and how the pips are moving. So in this example, right, it's going to be, let me do this real quick. Let me switch this up. Oh, oops. I'm over here creating little dots on the screen. I forgot I had that selected. Okay, cool. So then let's get rid of this and come back over here. And then this, you can see all the different Forex, right? Foreign exchange market currency pairs, right? So we'll go back to GBP, JPY. Click text, bring that here, put this on the screen, okay? As far as this is concerned, right, there's one point, there's 165.416 Japanese yen in every Great British pound. Okay, there's 165 in this example right here, 0. 0.416 Japanese yen in every Great British pound, right? So with the last number after the decimal point being the tenths place, that means that it's 41.6. So like for this example, if we went up to from 165.416 to 165.500, that would be 8.4 pips moved up, right? That would be 8.4 pips from this point where it is now up to 165.5, that would be 8.4 pips, right? So understand the way these prices are moving, right? Because if you went from 166.000 to 166.500, that would be 50 pips, okay? Now, if you went up to 166.505, that would be 50.5 pips in accordance to how the pips are actually calculated, right? It would be 50.5 pips in that example. So going from 166 up to 168, that would be 200 pips, right? So if we went from 165.500 to 165.750, that would be how many pips? 25, right? So this is a couple of examples of how price is actually calculated, right? So just when you're looking at this, just make sure that you understand the numbers that come after the decimal point are where we're gonna actually start to calculate the pips. And then the very last number is always gonna be the 10th spot, right? So let me give you guys another example here. All right, let's pull up another random pair here. Let's do one with like a CHF or something like the, the Swiss franc, right? So let's come down here. Okay, USD CHF. So this is how many what? Swiss franc 
are in every US dollar, right? So notice this number isn't even at one, at one, right? This right now, the current value is 0 0.98731. So that means that within this example, this means that within every US dollar, right? There are 0 0.98731 Swiss franc. Right, so there's 0 0.98731 Swiss franc in every US dollar because of what we have right here. Right, you want to look at this, and whatever pair you have over here up in the top corner, the base currency is over on the right, so that's going to be the Swiss franc. And so that means that there's whatever price is, there's that many of the base currency in the first currency, right? So in this example, there is 0 0.98731 because of looking at where price is on the left side of the screen here, or on the right side of the screen here, excuse me. There is 0 0.98731 Swiss franc in every US dollar. So here's a little math tip for you, right? A little math example, okay? I'm gonna do this in my head. Hopefully you guys can follow me based on the ones that I did before. If I went from current price at 0 0.98731 up to 0 0.98800, how many pips would that be? How many pips would that be? If the one is the tenth place, okay, that means that we would be moving up 6.9 pips to make this number equal nine eight eight zero zero all right so hopefully that makes sense if you got any questions about it go back rewatch the video okay go back reread the slide but literally this is something that once you start to understand it once you start to realize that the very last number right which be which would be the one this would mean that it's 0.1 pips all right, don't get caught up that there's a decimal place over here, whatever. This is just the price of the currency, okay? This is just the price of the currency pair. This is the ratio of the currency pair. Excuse me, this is the ratio of how many Swiss franc are inside every US dollar, okay? So for this example, going from 0 0.98731 up to 0 0.98800, you would have to move up 6.9 pips to get to this value here, okay? So thank you for watching this video about price and currency pairs. I hope that that makes things much more clear from what you have already understood, or I hope if you already understood this halfway, but you haven't looked at these currency pairs specifically, that now it makes things a lot more simple and plain for you. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for getting the ebook. Talk to y'all later.